All right, what is up? I just want to start off by saying I don't plan on doing voiceovers very much, but I had no intention of making this into a video when I recorded this, so uh, I'm just going to go over stuff I should have said in the videos. It's where we left off. Um, I know it. I did like the donut or whatever, but technically the diff wasn't welded at the time, but it was still cool. So here is kind of where we left off. Um, at this time, the diff is welded, which I'll show you in this video. But we had some stuff happen between the end of this one and where we are today. So, I mean, as you can see, it's gutted mostly. Uh, I kind of mentioned some stuff in the video, but I'm just going to talk over that. Uh, I got that bucket seat, those wheels. I also have two other full sets of wheels as spares. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk over it. So that was, you know, the factory exhaust. Not too impressive or whatever, but back half of the car is gutted. And the windows are kind of just fixed right now. Uh, I don't plan on having them working, so um, they're just drilled into the bracket and being held up. Here I was just showing the front compliance bushings I'd put in. I don't know if I showed them in the last video, but there was that. And I got the headers welded to the rest of the exhaust because the guy said he couldn't put flanges on those pipes. I don't really know why. And we're still, you know, stock. Uh, it's got that little cone filter on it, but other than that, it's bone stock. And uh, I'm going to get into the, basically what I did since it was running to now. Or like the upgrades and stuff I did just as things were realized, like the clutch had gone out, would barely pull, so I went ahead and upgraded. I got a, a single mass flywheel and a six putt clutch off of ebay it was like 400 something from uh clutch max i think not max clutch i think it's like clutch max or something it holds up pretty good i don't really have any issues out of it it's got a little bit of chatter i think is what i'm hearing on like decel in neutral right before you come to a stop but i mean other than that it holds fine burnouts, drifting, all that stuff. Um, Break-in time is a real thing because like a couple hundred miles after putting it in, it would still sometimes slip if I tried to like drift or do a burnout. But I mean, now it's perfect. And I wanted to point out here, there's no bushing in that motor, which is why the... Um, old clutch went out I think or went out so fast and I also had that seal leaking in there I got that all fixed up put it all back together felt good everything went together pretty good the transmission is not fun coming out of these but you know I kind of learned some some good stuff uh, something I kind of knew after my first time looking at the car was that my trans mounts were completely separated I had some vibration when accelerating and decelerating sometimes, it was pretty bad. But, got those new poly ones in there, so that's good. I got that welded up. Uh, I cut out that lower section of the dash. Uh, I plan on putting like a panel there for my switches. And here is where I made the mistake of messing around one night. Hit a curb and both passenger side lower control arms got pretty messed up. Um, that's the front, my wheel was pretty much hanging off. That's the back, um, that one wasn't too bad. And while I was back there, I went ahead and did my subframe bushings, which sucked. Uh, it took me forever to figure out how to get them out without damaging it, but once I figured it out, it uh, went pretty smooth going back together. And 
that's about it. That's where we're at right now. Uh, I got another video coming out next Monday. Thanks for watching.